The last Olympics were an amazing experience. Um, I didn't really know what to expect last time. And I, I you know, did I, I did everything to be prepared for it, but now I've got a better idea, and so I can better prepare for what to expect. Simon D'Artois with a massive right side double pull, 1260. A four year cycle is definitely hard to a certain extent. Mentally, it's, it's challenging for sure, but I think, you know, I've learned a lot from over the years and you kind of just keep plugging away. You know, there's not really any working towards second place or third place, you know, like you want to be, you want to be pushing for gold. And so making the most of the time now is really going to make, you know, determine whether or not that happens. He's already in a really good place for next season. He challenges me a lot to be creative, to um, find ways to, to keep him engaged and keep challenging him, keep pushing him. Uh, the goal is to be as fit as he can for our next training camp in Mount Hood and then uh, to be as fit as he's ever been uh, in October when we head to Sauce Bay for training and uh, carry that right through to the games. I try and train as smart as possible. For me, that means going out there and working up to a certain level, but not overdoing it. If you are overdoing it, then that's when the accidents can happen. With that in mind, you can then plan out how a training camp would go. Yeah, I just try and not get hurt, train smart, and send it all at the same time. I would say I'm pretty hard on myself. I expect a lot from myself. And also when you talk to other people, it, you know, they don't really understand your situation because everybody's situation is unique. But for this Olympics, you know, I've got my run goals that I'd like to achieve. If I am able to achieve those and I have a great opportunity to, to get first place, it, it would be a dream come true.